What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So, to kick off where we left off, things have gone stupendously well. I've attacked my former colonial overlords, France. Uh, they were not joined in war with the Huron or the Spanish. And we're doing quite a convincing job of kicking their butts out of um, the continent to the north. And obviously having Quebec means we can advance or we can research advanced artillery and army techs really firing us off to the next level in this campaign. But we have a French army marching towards us from Arcadia. So what we're going to want to do is to knock out Montreal as quickly as possible so we can then, I was about to say, destroy this French stack but it might be tempting to kind of hold position while we send an army to go take out Moose Factory behind our lines but that remains to be seen um, but our main focus now is to attack Montreal with our first and only artillery piece let's go so oh, <laughs> yeah I was really concerned when I declared on Spain that things would go really badly wrong and so far they haven't they've gone okay I've still got a problem of my cities not producing much wealth themselves but that will come in time okay let's okay let's deploy my first Louisiana artillery team up on this hill they'll roll forward and blast them let's deploy some infantry on the flanks Base out the cavalry again. Maybe, maybe all out on this flank because it's more open. Which means we'll probably put a couple of infantry and the majority, if not all, of our melee infantry will go through the town. So you guys trot up to the front of the uh, top of the ridge. some of our these goes through the town but mainly it's going to be a bit of a brawling position for me I hear a cavalry charge so they're going to get Guns. Push this flank forward. Run my pikes forward because it looks like the tribal auxiliary want to uh, try create a mess. Too bad these guys might get some friendly fire. Charge into them with our melee infantry. Burn, fire the first shots into the mounted tribal auxiliary. Boom. Excellent shots there. You guys, stay where you are, but don't shoot anything. So let's push up the flank, as well as my centre I suppose, it looks like they're going to uh, push the right. It's not really where I want them. Got a lot of defences up here as well. Bombard the town hall with your guns. I 
There's the enemy pikemen. Well, my melee charge need to may need to continue. All of you intercept the general's bodyguard. Let's spin this flank around. Can I deploy them there? No, that'd be great. Pikeman. In you go. You guys fire at will, although I need to actually do something like this to stop them from firing into the combat. Okay, let's push our original front line up. You guys just storm the guns. can pivot your guns enough, but I think you still want to bombard the town hall. Well, bombard it as well as you can. Go take out the native bowman auxiliary. Big old melee fight over here. Who's in here? Militia of some sort. pushing. Secure some of these territory, some of these buildings behind the rear. Yeah, my pikemen are doing very well. But my native auxiliary units are taking a bit of hammering. Push these guys up to close range. You guys attack the town hall, get my square formation to attack the infantry further on. That's a Coureur de Bois, so they should fall quite easily. The centre's broken quite conclusively here. And then we've got quite a lot of dead men over here on the flank. And this is perfect positioning for firing into the flank of those men in combat. Coureur de Bois fallen. Just keep pushing. Cavalry have been a bit useless. But there is. Really, I've lost a lot more cavalry than I need to, because I was just completely ignoring them. Do you have spikes? I've got to watch out for that. <laughs> Those men went flying. Push some units on. Way out here. The melee battle went in our favour. The last remaining units are deciding to push up. But there they will find more death. The regulars deployed out wide. Well, a win's a win, I suppose, and our army's elite enough as it is.
So that is Montreal secured. Let's get our rake up to Newfoundland to keep an eye on what the Brits are doing. Let's bring our priest over here because okay. I don't think he can make it in one turn, not on those roads. Can't rebuild, but we can do a bit of replenishing. Although we can just combine these native units together and allow Ready for and allow a unit of infantry to, to be Make absorbed ready. in their Make place. Ready. Let's bring these militia back. Good stuff. And this is a territory we can immediately just tax and earn what little income we're getting out of it. So one term again, square formation. Yep, they're marching, but I'm pretty sure they don't make it across. Nope. Thankfully, just. So our army is going to be in a bit of a roughed up state when it comes to fighting the French, but I think, I don't really think it's going to matter to destroy that army. But things are going rather well. And it started chucking it down again. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of tea to celebrate. Lovely. Yep, I bet the 13 colonies aren't very happy about this development. <laughs> Our strength is growing. And what are you going to do about it? Yep, here comes the Venetians. Ooh, they're landing on French territory. That's a bit of a wheeze. Although, is that French territory? Oh no, that is our territory. Yeah, they're gonna do. They're gonna go and raid some of my stuff. It's already broken. Okay, so I'm gonna combine some troops. Well, to be honest, no one's really super weak. So let's get you over hey. here. Anything more for the push, sir? Sir. Okay, Montreal's one of those what? annoying cities. In. Out. Forward! For Let's rebuild. I serve the Lord's Let's get the spy. I know I don't infiltrate, just stand nearby. Yes. Bring my militia back. Rebuild. Let's upgrade the governor's palace here. Yeah, I see you. So we've got square formation and we are correctly going on to plug bayonet. Awesome. We can go straight to fire by rank. How does that make sense? Is it because we've got drill school? Well, I mean, duh, no doy. <laughs> I didn't even see that. God damn, in six turns, the world is going to tremble. Tremble before us. And I don't think I can upgrade anything yet or anymore. Nope. Any roads? Montreal doesn't even have dirt roads. It's a good upgrade. With all speed. Oh, that's the that's the the doorbell, which may or may not be for me. So just one sec, guys. I need to check. It was the builder. Um, back to do over to do some work on our shower. So. God's will be done. We do have to keep an eye on the fact they got Venice. Being a cheeky little swine. But we're not really going to have much of a navy until we take the 13 colonies. Got some more research. More of our pre researchers have got. have got. Um, have got. Uh, enhancements in research development. Oh, Is there another one of our agents? Yeah. Armchair General. Plus one for military tech. Sweet, yeah, six turns we get fire by rank, which is lovely. I might just hop straight to socket bayonet. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I have to go down this route. Well, I mean, I will do eventually to build these buildings, but for now, don't really need to. Okie dokie, so then let's hit... End turn, I think. There's a chance they may just annoy, skip. They might not cross, they might just go south, or southwest. But we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Let's hit end turn. 
Yeah, more French reinforcements. So that does mean it's a territory we have to take out if we want peace, relative peace on the continent. Oh man. Redefine that French Navy. I should really have engaged them when they were up somewhere predictable rather than letting them now head down south where I could well lose a city to them as they run away. Yeah, gotta do what you gotta do. I will also build more troops in Quebec in case that Venetian army decides to be annoying. So the army that's coming from the south will very much be... Um, will very much be the French army from one of the Caribbean islands. So they will be a target. But I want to send a single fifth rate out to scout to try to find where that fleet went. Unless I can see it. But I can't don't see I, I can't see it, but it should be. Any order? Ship sail on water, my lord. Ready and waiting. Oh. There he is. With a full army. You are within range. So let's send a squadron of four ships out to join. Don't know why my intern count has gone all funny. We will attack them. I just want to quickly do some bits and bobs up here first. So I want to move you guys to Montreal a on a to pick up some infantry here in case these guys decide to push towards Quebec. Quebec has new roads and we've got a fur trapper ready and waiting. Let's keep my agent moving up towards British lands. Let's do a bit of that. Good. Okay. Let's go destroy a French fleet or a, Fren a French army. Lovely, lovely stuff. Screw them together, line astern. These are funky deployment zones. So crack the sails on. We do want to capture this fleet to make sure we do... Should I even drop anchor now? We do want to capture this fleet in order to make sure the army is destroyed. We don't want it to flee. Just think, there's about three or four thousand men on that ship, supposedly. <laughs> yeah, if we capture it, that army is destroyed. And that means our southern flank is safe for now. Even better if we can take it into our service. For now, this is fortunately quite a quick win for us. If it was a bigger fleet or more powerful fleet, that would be a much bigger problem, but thankfully it isn't. So you are now sailing within range, and Rally has fired off first rounds. To be honest, you may as well just... Okay, let's pivot these guys all slightly to more easily face into the threat. We go, Osteries fight a broadside. This is this other guy. These two ships that are closest can fire chain shot to help try to dismast. Yes, foremost is gone. It 
so we can keep most of these firing round shot but I do want to keep some firing chain or well, this guy firing chain shot just to try and make sure she loses her masts and I don't want to fire a broadside I don't mind them firing their guns firing that will there we go main mist is gone general's been admiral's been killed continue run her down So I'm speeding up time because right now there's no point to fighting it in real time. Yeah, they're doing well to uh, not rout. Or to not, you know, <laughs> not surrender. Actually, let's not attack. Let's pivot. See if you can just completely knock her masts off. Damn it. Delicious. We may lose this fleet to being counterattacked by the Brits. Because we can't safely make it back. We could raid Jamaica on the way, but... Yeah, they may get intercepted, but I think if that's a good, that's a good trade. And let's build another fifth rate, just in case. Can we see where these guys are going to go? Don't know if these guys south in case they decide to march up again. Let's replenish more units. Let's can't build anything because we haven't got any advanced stuff to. We haven't got any advanced research. I mean, I may as well just build troops with it. Build up a second force with which to guard Quebec later to attack Rupert's land. Unfortunately, it looks like that Brit Navy that's in the Caribbean seems to be stuck because they decided not to attack us. Even though their fleet is stronger, and they definitely could have done, they decided not to, which is great. Yeah, 13 colonies has a should be feeling concerned. But I'm so surprised that I that, so that's a completely unknown benefit. I really didn't consider that. The French investment in Quebec meant I could just skip down the trek tree completely. Okay, good. Yeah, this army's growing nicely. Six thousand. Too much I'm earning enough money now to feel safe upgrading this guy to a royal palace. We can now get our ships back into position. Any orders? Get them repaired. You guys can stay there for now. Can company move out? Because I want to see what these guys do. If these guys go south. Just build up. Just build up this to another army, I suppose. Ah, basic roads. I could have upgraded. Oh well. Four more turns to fire up by rank. Okay, so one unit's going to go raiding. They're still sending reinforcements. Well, I mean, those have to be garrisons by this point. Yeah, they're going to go try raid me, raid my port. So I'm going to have to go take them out. A 
probably going to send the infantry and line infantry I've, I've got currently in Niagara, send them to go take out the guys that are going to go raiding around Montreal. Basically, it's just going to get a bit messy. But with two armies, I can send one to go take out Rupert's Land, add a whole bunch of new resources to our portfolio. Then, uh, march them back, or maybe even march them south, and send them to go knock on the, uh, the French territory's doors. Because if they're going to use that, use those territories to generate stacks of chaff to come and attack us, we may not be quite so lucky when they come again. So we must be prepared. That, I think, is the overall message, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that capture of Quebec is what's turned it all around. <laughs> like, there's no way that... <laughs> If I'd, you know, if I'd fought the British, it would have been so, so much worse. Yeah, the Venetian's just going to raid, that's okay. So, are they still massing at Rupert's Land? Sort of. Don't try, no, try to kill their priest. It's not a very good priest. But they are st massing a bit, so this is what this guy is going to be after. The trapper post. Who are you? You're a native bowman auxiliary. Well, first of all, you guys are going to go and attack Constantine de Forbin. And I'm probably going to f just fight the quick battle. Because you know how these annoying little AI fights can just cause you to bleed much more money than you really need to. But this is definitely the start of a new model Louisiana army. So these are French troops, but they are have American voices. Run everyone up. So now they're past the guns. Unlimber. Could fire cast shot, but what's the need? Foot artillery regiments. See, without cavalry, we'll always be doomed trying to take out these raiding armies. The only thing you can really hope for is that they. they might come back so I'm carrying on just to let my artillery to keep shooting at them beyond that I'm not really you know, I've not I've not got cavalry so I'm really limited at how well I can chase them down but I've broken them up next turn we can pick up some cavalry to help chase down these raiding swine because they'll hit our they'll hit our port which would be annoying. They draw troops away from Quebec, which potentially makes us vulnerable. And they're just annoying all around, really. <laughs> That's pretty much what these guys do. Yes, it was decisive, but I don't think it will do what we need it to do. 
But they, they have lost a lot of men. And it knocked them back. So if they want to come back towards us, they can. Build some cavalry, and that army would be pretty nicely complete. You guys just go hit that bow unit. Hey, they killed it. Sweet. Okay, bring them back. Replenish. Now, do we commit and pick a side? Then again, they're not on road, so they might not be able to get to anywhere important. Let's commit. Don't worry, you're okay. Blessings be. Um, let's move the priest over to... A missionary yeah, let's mission. put the priest here to Without try and see if I can stop them from crossing over. Okay, now let's start to roll out metal roads through the Empire. Yeah, new fifth rate, but I don't think we're going to need it. Okie dokie. Three turns, we'll have fire by rank. Yep, so they have to come back towards my city in order to raid. So it looks like we will have to force that army off of our territory manually. Well, say manually. Um, but if I can get my Quebec force established, I can block off the route to attack for that big army that I want to attack. I can prevent them from running north. And that's the main objective here. Because if we take Rupert's land, we'll take get a load of furs into our markets. And then we'll be rolling in it, because fundamentally we'll be rolling in it because we have nothing to spend our money on except armies. So much so, that school at Niagara is going to be seriously bottlenecked from the ability of me to grow another village to help keep um, public order um, at an acceptable level. That's going to be the main problem here. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident now. Venice can do what Venice likes. We're going to come after you. Can you actually go back here? These guys go hit Constantine de Forbin. Chop them up. Punish and get back to Quebec. Ooh, we've got a new town in Niagara. Craft workshop for ye. Let's upgrade this to a governor's palace just because it stops the need from it being needing or stops it from ever needing to be upgraded again. I think everyone else is currently stable. I'd like to repair this, but they won't let us. The Venetians and their native African troops. Because they've established a North African empire. In terms of this, everything's pretty... Well, well the Russians are doing pretty good. They're pretty, getting pretty offensive. Britain's in... Owns Courland. Yep, Ceylon's ripe for the taking. Yep, if you hear noises, it's the builder. I can't do anything about that. Builders make noises. But I'm pretty damn happy. To be honest, I'm tempted to make you a governor's mansion now because we've got a big recruitment centre up north, which will probably quite conclusively sweep down. I think. Theodore is going to hit Marcel Bontessou. But, looking at the timer, that's the end of the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for, well, the destruction of the last major French force on the continent. Cheers, everyone.